In the hidden corners of our universe lurks a silent force that sets everything around it in motion. Not light, not matter, but a mysterious entity that we have barely begun to unravel, dark energy. For many years, it has eluded the grasp of our best minds, gathering dust on the shelves of theoretical cosmology. Today, we stand on the threshold of revelation as new evidence suggests that we may have been mistaken about the very nature of this mysterious force. Could it be that what we thought was unchanging is actually changing before our eyes? Join us as we delve into the depths of space guided by the latest data from the Dark Energy Spectroscopic Instrument and embark on a journey that could redefine our understanding of the universe. To ensure we're all on the same page, let's first talk about Baryonic Acoustic Oscillations, or BAO. These ripples, set in motion by intense pressure waves in the early universe, now serve as cosmic yardsticks, allowing astronomers to accurately measure vast cosmic distances. This complex cosmic interaction, a legacy from the birth of the universe after the Big Bang, provides us with a unique vantage point to scrutinize the fabric of the cosmos. In such a cosmic landscape, the Dark Energy Spectroscopic Instrument, also known as DESI, becomes a beacon of sorts. Armed with an array of 5,000 finely tuned fiber optic sensors, DESI is embarking on monumental tasks to meticulously map the three-dimensional positions of tens of millions of galaxies and quasars. This ambitious undertaking is designed not only to map the cosmic topography, but also to shed light on the shadowy force known as dark energy, which is believed to be the catalyst for the universe's accelerating expansion. Light is first reflected from the telescope's 15-ton primary mirror and then hits six large lenses that provide DESI with a wide, highly focused view of the sky, covering an area about 38 times the size of the full moon. These lenses are housed in a device that can be adjusted within millionths of a foot to keep the lenses aligned. After passing through the set of lenses, the light from the galaxy reaches the fiber optic cables at the DESI focal plane. At the very end of the telescope are 5,000 positioning robots, each carrying a single optical fiber, programmed to move to pre-selected sequences of galactic targets. This automated robot interaction allows DESI to target sequences of thousands of galaxies. Simultaneously, Optical fibers that serve as DESI's eyes guide galaxy light down the length of the telescope to 10 spectrographs. These spectrographs are then used to obtain very accurate spectra of these objects and produce red colors for the various galaxies and quasars in the data set. Each fiber optic sensor in the DESI array is a communication channel to the cosmos, guiding light from galaxies and quasars across billions of light years to the heart of the instrument. Robotic positioners ensure the jewel-like precision of each fiber's alignment to the celestial target. The fibers, each as thick as a human hair, are not just passive receivers. They are the endpoints of a complex optical path that begins in the depths of space and ends in the device's spectrograph. Here, the captured light is scattered into its constituent colors. When DESI scans the heavens, it picks up faint echoes of distant galaxies, each carrying a cosmic history recorded in BAO. These measurements, similar to the cosmic Morse code, are carefully decoded and analyzed to reconstruct the history of the expansion of the universe. Through this painstaking process, DESI provides a glimpse into the past epochs, tracing the evolution of the universe from its turbulent youth to its current, more measured expansion. The importance of BAO in this grand narrative cannot be overemphasized. Astronomers are using this instrument to map the expansion of the universe with unprecedented accuracy. 
This method, based on the fundamental physics of the early universe, offers a reliable basis for testing our understanding of cosmology by refining our models of the underlying structure and composition of the universe. Through the lens of DESI, BAO is transformed from a mere cosmic echo to a powerful discovery tool. So how will the mission help illuminate the darkest corners of space? So, let's elaborate on BAO. Imagine that the universe is a vast ocean in which sound waves once freely propagated through the hot, dense early cosmos. These were not sound waves as we know them, but rather pressure waves generated by the complex interaction between radiation and matter in the nascent universe. This interaction gave rise to what we now call baryonic acoustic oscillations, a relic pattern imprinted in the distribution of galaxies across the cosmos. These ripples in the fabric of the universe give us a standard ruler for measuring cosmic distances with extraordinary precision. In the early universe, there was a competition between gravity pulling matter together and radiation pressure pushing it apart, which created oscillations akin to sound waves. When the universe cooled enough to form atoms and radiation separated from matter, these oscillations froze in place, leaving a noticeable pattern in the distribution of galaxies. The peak of these oscillations at an interval of about 150 million light years serves as our cosmic ruler. This cosmic ruler allows astronomers to measure the expansion of the universe in a unique way. By examining the distance between galaxies and comparing it to the expected distance from the BAO, scientists can calculate how much the universe has expanded since light was emitted from these galaxies. This method also allows direct measurement of the rate of expansion of the universe at different epochs of time, which provides clues to the nature of dark energy and its impact on cosmic growth. In turn, the Dark Energy Spectroscopic Instrument can use BAO's measurements to produce an unprecedentedly detailed map of the expansion of the universe at different epochs, located atop the 6,880-foot summit of Mount Kitt in Tucson, Arizona, which offers panoramic views of space. DESI uses a battalion of robotic fiber optic sensors in its quest to understand the accelerating expansion of the universe. Peering into the night sky, the instrument captures the light of millions of galaxies and quasars. By measuring the red shift of the light from these celestial objects, DESI can determine how fast the universe has expanded at different times. The instrument's precision allows it to detect subtle BAO imprints in the large-scale structure of the universe, turning these measurements into a detailed three-dimensional map of cosmic expansion. This map is not just a collection of data points. It is a timeline of the history of the universe from its early, denser state to its current accelerated expansion. By comparing the observed BAO scale at different distances, and therefore at different times in the history of the universe, with what we expect from our cosmological models, DESI tests our understanding of dark energy and the fundamental nature of the cosmos. The beauty of the DESI approach lies in its ability to explore different epochs, offering a window into the expansion of the universe over billions of years. This huge period allows researchers to trace whether dark energy remains constant over time or evolves. So, what was the purpose of this study after all? As we know, the accelerating expansion of the universe, a phenomenon at odds with the expected slowing forces of gravity, has revealed the existence of a mysterious component known as dark energy. This discovery, made in the late 1990s through observations of distant type IA supernovae, revolutionized our understanding of the cosmos. Dark energy, which makes up about 68% of the total energy content of the universe, has a repulsive force that opposes the gravitational pull of matter and thus accelerates cosmic expansion. 
It was she who laid the foundation for the Lambda Cold Dark Matter model at a time when the disparate observed properties of the universe seemed mutually inconsistent and there was no consensus on the composition of the energy density of the universe. The model successfully announced a wide range of astronomical phenomena, from the large-scale structure of the cosmos to anisotropy in the cosmic microwave background. Despite the complexity of the universe, the Lambda Cold Dark Matter model is relatively simple and characterized by a small set of parameters. These include the Hubble constant, the densities of dark matter and dark energy, and the initial conditions for the existence of the universe. The predictive power of the model allows astronomers to test its validity with observations such as the distribution of galaxies and the cosmic microwave background. The Dark Energy Spectroscopic Instrument has provided new insights into the mysterious nature of dark energy. By analyzing more than six million extragalactic objects at vast cosmic distances and different epochs, DESI provides reliable measurements of the expansion history of the universe with previously unattainable precision. This extensive data set covering a redshift range from 0.1 to 4.2 allows us to reconstruct the expansion of the universe in detail and reveal the influence of dark energy throughout cosmic time. One of the most intriguing results from the first year of DESI observations is the indication that dark energy may not be a static force, but may evolve. This hypothesis stems from the subtle discrepancies observed between DESI measurements and the predictions of the Lambda Cold Dark Matter model. In particular, the data collected in this study suggests that the parameter of the dark energy equation of state is close to being consistent with the cosmological constant. However, if we extend the Lambda model and add a time-varying dark energy equation of state, the DESI data in combination with the cosmic microwave background or type IA supernovae definitely indicate a departure from the model. This means that the influence of dark energy may not be constant, but may change with time. This preference persists in different combinations of data sets, indicating deviations from the Lambda model. The data obtained in the survey, especially the discovery of dark energy, poses a serious challenge to the Lambda model. Traditionally based on the representation of dark energy as a constant component, the detailed mapping of the cosmic expansion history with the instrument provides data that may require modifications to the standard cosmological scheme. In particular, the parameters present day value and rate of change of the dark energy, indicating the variation of the dark energy influence with time, indicate a deviation from the static lambda assumption dark energy represented by the cosmological constant lambda, which requires a critical reassessment of the model's functions. The results of the paper have profound implications. If the dark energy equation of state does indeed change, this could lead to a major revision of our ideas about the expansion of the universe and its ultimate fate. Such a paradigm shift will not only refine our understanding of dark energy, but would also affect the broader cosmological models that describe the composition, structure, and evolution of the universe. To integrate these ideas, cosmologists may need to explore new theoretical frameworks or improve existing models to account for the time-varying dark energy component. This may require developing more sophisticated models that account for the dynamical behavior of dark energy or revising our understanding of the interactions between dark energy, dark matter, and other cosmological parameters. One intriguing alternative is quintessence, a dynamic form of dark energy with a changing equation of state. Unlike the cosmological constant lambda, which remains constant throughout cosmic time, Quintessence is a field that evolves, potentially providing clues to the observed divergence. Could the changing nature of dark energy be a manifestation of quintessence? This model allows the effects of dark energy to vary, potentially consistent with the evolving equation of the state of dark energy hinted at by the study.
The possibility that dark energy interacts with dark matter or other components of the universe also opens up an exciting paradigm. Such an interaction could lead to observable effects on cosmic scales, potentially explaining the changing equation of the state of dark energy. Another intriguing but radical proposal is the concept of early dark energy. This model suggests that dark energy played an important role not only in the late universe but also in its early stages, leaving imprints on the anisotropy of the cosmic microwave background and large-scale structures. This may offer a new lens through which to interpret the findings, especially if dark energy effects have been woven into the fabric of the cosmos since its dawn. The viability of each of these theories depends on consistency with observational data at various scales, from CNB anisotropies to galaxy clustering and supernova luminosity distances. The contribution of this project lays the foundation for future research in cosmology, as DESI continues to produce an unprecedentedly detailed map of the cosmic web during its five-year mission. It's expected to inspire several future projects aimed at delving deeper into cosmological mysteries. These future projects will likely build on DESI's findings, utilizing advanced observational techniques and theoretical models to further explore dark energy and its impact on the cosmos. A discussion between study participants Shashadri Nadatharan and Adru Font Ribera emphasized the collaborative nature of this search, emphasizing the integration of DESI data with other observations to create a more complete picture of the evolution of the universe. Such a collaborative approach is essential to deepen our understanding of dark energy and its role in shaping the ultimate fate of the universe. Although the instrument's results challenge our current cosmological models, DESI's journey is far from over. It is merely a prologue to a much larger cosmological narrative. And standing at this threshold, we remind ourselves of how much we still have to learn about the structure of the universe.